So two local arms manufacturers are dragging each other through the courts in a dispute over ownership of an armored vehicle design. We understand Paramount Land Systems last month secured an urgent Anton Pillar order against Twigger Services and Logistics. Not all of us are familiar with the legal jargon, and one could ask, what is an Anton Pillar order and its purpose? To help us unpack this and what's at the core of this dispute, I'm joined now by investigative journalist Erica Gibson, who writes uh, about these matters uh, quite frequently, her latest story on Times Live. Erica, thank you for sharing some of your time uh, with us. We will get to this whole issue of the Anton Pillar order, uh, because I think while it's important, at the core of it, we just need to understand understand the basics of what this dispute is all about. We understand it's between Paramount and a company called Twigger uh, Services and Logistics, and at the heart of it is the design uh, of a, an armored vehicle. This would happen in South Africa, wouldn't it? Because uh, our defense manufacturing uh, industry is quite uh, advanced and mature. It is, uh, but it's unfortunately also very small. Um, Good morning, Pulas. It is. It, it's a. It's a very uh, complicated um, a, a, a matter, and um, I'm, I'm no um, legal qualified person. So I had to go and 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 acquaint myself a little bit with with an Anton Pillar application as well. Um, it usually has to do with um, with copyright or in this case, uh, the uh, uh, um, intellectual property of, of a particular uh, um, piece of equipment or system is, 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 um, is in dispute. What happened here is a, is a very intricate um, movement and, and opening and closing of, of, of different companies as well. So it's, 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 yeah. you, you literally yeah. have to navigate yourself uh, uh, through it. But the Anton Pillar application is, uh, is different in the sense that the applicant has to prove it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, the substance of its case before the judge only on paper um, without the uh, the respondent knowing about it so it's 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 done almost in secret um, because it has to prevent the the, the uh, any any traces of of uh, of the material um, to be uh, destroyed or uh, lost mm. so you have to convince the judge that yet your, your case is strong enough uh, on paper and you have to specify exactly which components, which part of, of, of a particular weapon system like uh, an armored vehicle. With, uh, in, in this case, it's got 1,600 different components. So it was a, a, a quite an intricate uh, a matter. Sure. But um, sure. The, the judge awarded the, uh, the, uh, uh, the, uh, the order and um, that involves an immediate search and, and seizure of, um, of, of all um, uh, computer hardware and any design uh, equipment that was uh, used by the respondent yeah. by, a, yeah. by a very uh, a, a, a team of people who, who, who's knowledgeable about this. They, they have to know exactly what they're what they looking for. And, and Erica, the reason why this company uh, turned to the judge to ask for this extraordinary order, Anton Pillar, uh, whose standard, as you've just explained, is not easy to, to meet, uh, to, you know, to have that order granted by a judge for you to be able to carry out search and seizure in order to preserve the material that you want and make sure that the respondent doesn't have the opportunity to destroy it or dispose of it in any other way. The reason why they went in that direction, uh, if you take us back to the heart of the dispute, it all has to do with this armored vehicle. What happened uh, in particular? Yeah. Uh, Paramount believes Twigger copied its design? Yes. Um, the, the original uh, vehicle called um, uh, the Gila uh, was designed by another company called the Industrial and Automotive Design, uh, IAD South Africa. 
That was uh, about 2006, 2012 already. Um, then they subcontracted their marketing to an, yet another company called Ibema. And Ibema had a complete data pack. Now, the data pack includes all the, uh, the, the detail of, of how the, the vehicle was designed and, and uh, all the specifics uh, as well. Uh, because you have uh, uh, your, your interested uh, customers would, would want to see the data pack. And they claim that the data pack was never given back. Later on, Paramount took over, um, uh, uh, bought shares in, in uh, this, this company who designed it. And then later on, uh, it, it, through a very long process of, of one company being liquidated and so on, um, uh, Paramount Group actually uh, bought all the, the um, uh, it, it bought all the IP, uh, the, industry, uh, the, the in, uh, intellectual property of, of, of the Gila. So it's, it's considered the, the owner of, of the, uh, the IP. Um, now, Twigger, it claims in its uh, court papers, have gone on and, and used this data pack, which they apparently never gave back, and developed their own vehicle called the Nyati. And they busy uh, concluding all sorts of contracts and even uh, a, 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 an agreement with with uh, with Uganda to um, to share the the, the the intellectual property to uh, to erect a, a, a manufacturing plant of 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 the Nyati under a different name, but anyway, still in in Uganda. So Paramount claims it's urgent um, and that they, they actually sort of intervene because the two companies are in competition with, with one another, uh, in Africa in particular. Yeah. So in all of this, Erika, as we draw to a conclusion, it, it brings me back to the state of the industry then in South Africa. Uh, you were saying that it is quite small and, um, you know, it is considered to be a mature um, industry uh, and, and advanced industry. So all of this, us talking about these designs, suggests to me that there's an active industry uh, that's actually manufacturing and demand and supply. Uh, it supplies customers, as you just mentioned, uh, possibility of working in Uganda. But we know from previous stories you've done that the, sub, uh, you know, the designs from South Africa as well as uh, South African manufactured equipment is in demand elsewhere. So therefore, the stakes couldn't be higher between uh, these two uh, competitors. Yes, um, unfortunately, in the past couple of years, the, the arms industry has gone through uh, and, and, and is still going uh, through very hard times, in particular in South Africa. Um, if one can just think of, of Danel, the shrinking defense budget and, and, and all those. Um, so competition is, 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 is pretty harsh on the comp continent as well. So um, in light of that, you don't want um, another uh, one of your your competitors to actually go with 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 with, uh, with your uh, vehicle or the, your your design for that matter um, to actually go and 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 uh, make money out of it while it's it's actually considered to be yours. So that that that's sort of the crux of the of the whole matter. The the industry is 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 going through very hard times at the moment. So. Um, whatever contracts are, are fiercely contested um, and, and competition is, is just as fierce. So one can understand in light of that, that um, you don't want someone else to, uh, to actually go and, mm. and um, take mm. what, what, what is legally uh, yours. All right. Thank you for your insight. The main, uh, the main yeah, please go Sorry, ahead. The main, application, the main application is still to be heard. Um, it's only the, the, the Anton Pella um, the search and seizure which has already taken place. All right. So that forms the basis now for the main trial. 